Hello guys, welcome to Tech Mode. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Node.js. Uh, only the assert mode, right? So as you know, as you guys know, if you have uh, followed my previous tutorial or you are experienced in Node.js, there are pretty much uh, lots of lots of different modules that you can use in your particular programming language and your program, right? So uh, we are more concerned about this assert framework because uh, as a developer or a probably as a tester, we require certain kind of assertions in our test cases to write certain kind of unit test cases or probably any test cases if you wanted to write certain end-to-end -end test cases. So we are going to use a module of Node.js to test it out certain code that we have written in Node.js, all right? So that's how it works. So uh, let's start with the, uh, so the first of all, the table of contents. Uh, we, what we will be doing is that we will be basically installing Node.js and we'll be writing certain hello words. If you don't know about much Node.js, you can follow up my previous tutorials where we have discussed about how uh, different things related to Node.js works and all. Uh, we will uh, understand the request and after that we will be uh, discuss more about the assert modules and what kind of method that this assert modules basically uh, we have. All right, and we'll write a certain Test cases, not test suit. Uh, test suit basically contains uh, small, small assertions where each assertion is having certain different roles that we can use in further uh, unit test cases, probably, or any kind of other test cases, right? All right. So, uh, this is how you uh, install the Node.js. Uh, first of all, what you do is that you just go to Node.js or Tor and press download. Let me show you this thing. What you can do is that uh, this is the tab I have opened. Uh, here, you can download uh, according to your uh, operating system i have mac so i can now uh, i will be downloading this package file and if you have windows and all you can download according to your all right so uh, you can verify that if node is installed or not you can just go to command line and type node minus p and it will give you the version right now i have installed only 4.2.2 because i want certain uh tests uh, i have old packages that i wanted to install but you can use your uh, latest one only and this is the uh, link of this uh, assertion module documentation so it has already opened here so this is uh we are going to discuss all right right okay so let's come again all right so uh first, first of all let's uh, discuss what is azert right azert basically uh it's a type of module in node.js where uh, it basically uh uh, but we can, what it can do is that uh, it can you can use desert to test your code and response from an API. For example, you have a particular API that uh, you are making through request module, and you wanted to assert different things like if, if it had a status code 200, if it contains this key or not, or this kind of stuff. You can use you can leverage this uh these things using assert module. Right? It's a basically uh, you can say it, it pro assert module is a Provides a simple set of assertion tests that can be used to test your variants in, in variants. All right. So uh, as you can see, uh, generally it contains eleven methods, and we are going to discuss some of those. So the first method we are going to discuss is assert, only assert, and it what it does it as uh, is basically uh, there are number of methods like assert not equal, assert deep equal, and here you can see that assert dot fail and assert equal. Right, uh, so these uh, we will be discussing further in the demo part. Uh, so I just wanted to show you this uh, examples first. Uh, that there are uh, around eleven methods that we'll be using. All right. So let's see the demo. All right. I have my uh, Visual Studio Code open, and this is the first uh, you can say uh, assert that I have used. I have what I have done is that I have uh, created an assert module assert variable and I have uh, required this module after that what I have done is that I have created a function which function what I am expecting is that if 1 plus 1 2 is coming so expected is 3 and so this is your expected value this has to be 2 and this is your message all right so uh, what you can do is that just run using as I have 5 1 Yes. So nothing happened, right? Because uh, if this assertion fails, then only this node program will give you an error. Suppose I wanted to see if it is equal to four, then it will give me error. 
right? 1 plus 2 is 3, not 4, right? So this is how it works. And so this is the first resolution method I have discussed with you, right? Uh, so so let's discuss about uh, assert OK. Uh, this is a similar example which contains the function and we are expecting 1 plus 2. Right. So this is the assertion that we have used previously and what we can do is that we can uh, use assert.ok. It's a similar kind of thing. Uh, it expects true mess, true truthy in this one. If it is true, then no message will be thrown in console. If it is not true, then it will throw. Right. So mostly we are, uh, mostly we use this kind of, uh, this one. Uh, I have, I'll separate it out. So in the maximum time this one will be used. This is equal, this is like, as a dot equal and this is your expected value this is your actual value and this is a message value right and this is count this uh this contradict part is this as a not equal if you want if we wanted to tell a certain kind of not equal part in assertion we can use this one right so uh these are the basic four methods uh which are is it uh require uh if you can use in node node uh so let's move on to some advanced one this is the deep equal part uh, what we have is that uh, we have a list one and list two. So the 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 list one and list two are broadly equal. So what I have done is that I have passed one list equal to second list. So it will be say true because these lists are uh, pretty much equal. Similarly, we have list two person object, and I wanted to check them. So it will again it will this program will return nothing because these are pretty much equal. But in the last example, as you can see, these are not equal, right? So this will like return true because these are not equal. But if you pass this or this uh, and this deep equal, it will return an error that these uh, two objects are not equal. So this is how the deep equal uh, uh, basically works in this case, right? So sometimes what we want is that uh, after uh, getting an error, error, we wanted to throw something, right? So what you can do is that uh, you can use hazard or throw. Uh, for example, if deep equals not equal, what we wanted to do is that we want to throw exception. So this is how you can as, uh, throw exception externally using assert.throw and function and certain kind of it. So uh, all of the, like probably the 11 methods I have covered in this one, right? And uh, let's move on to our presentation back. Uh, so uh, you can use this uh, assertions in your particularly test cases but uh just wanted to tell you this, this slide in the real world we are not using this as a for the node module right what we wanted is that we wanted to create a separate test runner uh we wanted to use basically this test runner so we are going to uh, more about how we can leverage different test runner that are actually will provide certain set of things uh like whatever what kind of test uh, results I am getting after running. For example, I have a 12 test cases. I wanted to see which one pass, which one fail around. I have to use certain kind of test runner. So these are the pretty much three more majorly used JavaScript uh, test runner like Mocha, Jasmine and Chai. But uh, I have uh, like searched lots of lots of different websites and you can see in this website also that Jasmine is the most almost has everything that you wanted to use and similar kind of uh, version that I have taught you. They have they it is all it will already have. So, uh, in the, so this is, uh, so that's all in this tutorial, we wanted to learn more about a node assert module, but, uh, in the upcoming tutorial, what you can expect is that we will be majorly learning how we can use Jasmine framework to write certain unit test cases or probably end to end test cases, uh, if you wanted to leverage certain things. For example, uh, Jasmine framework, uh, I have used in predictor. You can check out my predictor test cases, uh, predictor exercise videos on YouTube. Okay. So thank you guys. Uh, if you so please share this video among your friends and all. Like this video, share this video, and uh, do subscribe. And thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. So uh, just wanted to tell. So this is the references if you wanted to check it out. All right. Thanks. Thanks a lot.